My name is Madison Tott, and I am an adaptive rock climber. When I was born, my parents and the doctors had no idea, and I just came out with missing the five fingers on my right hand, caused by amniotic bands, which every female has, and so I just got wrapped around the fingers and stunted the growth of my hand. Growing up in a very small town in Iowa, I rarely ever saw anyone else who looked like me, had a disability, had a limb difference, anything. So I felt very isolated and alone. And growing up, I rarely ever talked about it or addressed it. I kind of just lived with it and pretended like it wasn't there and like I was normal or able-bodied and just lived my life without really ever talking about it and expressing my emotions. When I was really young, I was like three or five, we found um, a woman in a neighboring community and she was a below the elbow amputee. So she actually came over to my house and showed me how to tie my shoes. And I was the first one in my kindergarten class to tie my shoes. <laughs> There was definitely bullying growing up. Middle school is hard for everyone. It's much harder if you have, you know, your biggest insecurity is out there for the world to see. It was really hard, and you know, it took a lot of a lot of courage to continue to push through the bullies or doubters or naysayers and really chase my dreams. And I've just always loved the outdoors and doing anything outside, whether that's hiking or just exploring, surfing. So rock climbing came very natural. When I was 20 years old, I went on a retreat for other women with similar limb differences. And it was an outdoor recreation retreat. And we actually went rappelling, which was when I first got introduced to you know, rock climbing. And that was the first time I was ever surrounded by other young women with physical differences. And it just totally changed my perspective on myself and my confidence and how I view the world and how I see others and all the capabilities that I have. I think I'm very lucky to have wrist mobility, which has helped me a lot in life, especially with rock climbing. But when I was little, I used to have a slip on and I would just, my parents said I would just throw it off and like I would just use it more as a toy. And so growing up, I really never felt like I needed it because I used my hand a lot with very limited exposure in the media and other sorts of industries where you rarely ever see people with disabilities, especially limb differences, portrayed in a positive manner. It's, it's really hard. It's, you know, it limits the beliefs of yourself and what you think you're capable of and you know what you can do and your place in the world. Over the years, it has grown to be in a more respectful and inclusive way, but in the past, there has definitely been a negative portrayal of people with disabilities. You rarely ever see someone in a TV show or in a movie who's you know, a big character who's doing normal day-to-day -day things with a disability. It's usually portrayed in a negative way where there's pity on them. That transitions to the real world where a lot of times people won't necessarily be mean or say mean things, but there's a feeling of pity and a feeling of like, oh, poor them, maybe, you know, their life may be too hard. They might not be able to do all these X, Y, and Z things. So I think that's definitely still there, but that perception is hopefully changing every day with awareness and representation in the industry. I think there could be more diversity in including all types of disabilities and having the people with dis disabilities doing major roles and major day-to-day -day things that they do in their lives and it's not so much portrayed as, oh, this person's in a wheelchair so they're gonna be, you know, in a hospital scene or, you know, anything like that. It's more of an uplifting and encouraging environment. Showing them as, you know, quote unquote, normal, normal people doing their normal daily tasks that, you know, they do every day. And it doesn't need to be made a big deal that a person with a disability is tying their shoe or, you know, walking their dog. It's a normal thing. My dream is to cultivate change, inspire inclusion, and raise awareness for people with disabilities. And I hope to do that through showcasing my adaptive rock climbing process and that people with disabilities are not limited or not capable, that we are more than capable and we can do anything and are the most resilient and strong people. With a disability, you're already like the underdog. People already doubt you. And so every, you know, it's every day 
that you have to overcome little things or, you know, the stares are always going to be there. The questions are always going to be there. Living with a disability is a natural thing and it's a common thing. It's so much more common than you actually see how many individuals there are with all different types of abilities. And it's really just a beautiful part of life. One of my biggest goals is to become one of the first female adaptive climbers to climb El Capitan. It's a dream for any climber to climb, and I think it would really showcase my abilities and any person with a disability as a rock climber, that they are capable of anything. Hopefully in 2028 is when climbing will officially be in the Paralympics, and it's one of my goals to climb in the Paralympics as an adaptive climber.